Guys, I am extremely excited to bring you this unboxing. I have with me the brand new iPhone that I got this morning. And uh, let's unbox this thing now. It's taking me quite a while to get this thing in. Wait a minute! This, no, this, how, how do you... No, 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 come on, come on, come on, don't play me now. Do you guys remember the conversation we had about the Ghanaian dream the other day? You know, the one where Kofi goes outside the country because everyone in Ghana is doing his money? Yeah, there is no dream without a nightmare. So phone prices are through the roof and you may want a particular phone but do not have the money and somehow you get approached with a very very good deal for the phone and you get it only to realize that it is um, fake. And in Ghana this tends to be a very common problem. Now I should have made this video as far back as March when I unboxed my new 10 Lite but here we are with some TL drama and um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I present to you how to get a phone in Ghana. Now guys, before I get into this video, um, this is an extremely monumental moment. This is video number 100 on this channel. Last year around this time, if someone had walked up to me and told me that a year from now, I would have a YouTube channel with 100 videos and counting, uh, I would have laughed at them because I don't think I would have believed. But lo and behold, here we are. And this wouldn't be possible with you, without you guys. I could have stopped somewhere along the way, but your support has kept me going. Thank you so much. If you're new, hey, stick around. It's all right. Uh, let's get right with it. So, of course, if you've been on Twitter, you've kind of seen something about some phone stuff that's been going on recently. And I'm not one to kick a man when he's down, but... Um, oh, this... This, this is going to be a hard one for me. So yes, we know the whole deal with getting phones in Ghana. It is brutal. It is tough. Prices are through the roof. A dollar is 60 days now. We went down the rabbit hole really quick. Now guys, first things first, when you are getting a phone, you need to know exactly what you need in the phone and how best you can utilize the features of a phone. It is very very important now you might have seen this a couple of times you have that one person that gets a phone which they generally don't even understand using they don't even understand some of the features that come with the phone and are probably unwilling to learn and you end up asking yourself that question of why did you even bother getting this particular phone and yes this is a serious waste of money because if you are not going to be able to understand how to use the phone to begin with and not be able to understand some of the features that the phone comes with why waste all that money and this is something that even people in our age group go through this is something that they kind of get sucked in and this is something that's going to lead into my second point which is don't be pressured to get a particular phone I cannot stress this enough. We live in a society where phones are pretty much a symbol of status. And the fact that you can't have a particular phone doesn't put you in a particular social bracket or at least put you closer to one if you can't get into that particular social bracket or classification. And yes, I am talking about the people that use iPhones. I'm not holding shots back. No, 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 no. I am not talking about all of you that use iPhones. Don't come for me. I'm talking about those people that generally do not use the iPhones for anything Besides a fashion statement and flex and probably a good camera. Now that's not to say that a person doesn't deserve a choice of phone that they may want to use. But if you are going to spend so much money on a phone that you don't even think is real, and I am going to get into this right now, the third thing you need to look out for when getting your phone get it from a reputable source in the last few years we've seen a growth in the establishment of third-party phone dealers and i really can't blame them for existing because apple doesn't really have too many affordable reliable products especially in this part of the world there's literally only one apple shop in the whole of africa if i'm correct and it's in egypt there might be another one somewhere and yes i know that's the i go I meant the iShop, I got it, okay, I got it, good. The iShop in the mall and they are an authorized reseller, but they are not an actual Apple shop, which we don't have in, 
Africa and it's a bit of a problem. Now thankfully you have shops like Telefonica and Compu Ghana which are probably two of Ghana's biggest phone dealers in the country which will give you very very quality products of any brand that you may want to purchase from and no i'm not crapping on every single third party dealer out there there are some people that really do give you quality products even though the people that give you the fake stuff are probably way more in the system but the biggest reason i am saying get a phone from a reputable source is because of one thing warranties look warranties will cover literally anything and everything that may go wrong with your phone in some cases with the galaxy a22 released by samsung recently i have seen this and i quote me if i'm wrong on this but they are actually allowing you the uh, opportunity to get free screen replacements should you unfortunately shatter your initial screen that you got with the phone I think for a certain period of time correct me if i'm wrong on that but i did see that but warranties will generally cover everything including software and some hardware features most often than not you might not get an instant screen replacement because warranties don't usually cover that you have to pay for that but for the most part if you are going to have some sort of care it kind of makes sense to go in that direction but if you are going to go dealing with a third party because the prices are cheaper then you should know what you are getting yourself into and this is the last tip i'm going to leave with you if you do happen to get a phone from them you are obliged to check the information on that device now let me show you one trick this, this is something that a lot of people don't really know and this is something that really really worries people now in the event of purchasing an iPhone from a third party dealer, iPhone boxes haven't changed very much. This is actually the box of an iPhone 6 and no it did not come with soap. Don't. <laughs> but on the back you are usually going to find barcodes and serial numbers and IMEI numbers. And what you should do is to check for those numbers to verify the authenticity of the phone you intend to get. Apple actually has a portal that enables you to check these numbers to verify that the product you are getting is certified and is 100% authentic. And most often than not, when you are getting this device from a reputable source, you will find that these devices have some form of Apple Care or um, Apple services that allow you to take very good care of the phone for about two years or so. Now, my Android people, you have not been left behind either. Now, when you check on a Samsung box especially, you are going to find a sticker with a serial number and IMEI and barcodes and you should check those and scan those as well if you are going to go to a third party dealer. But overall, the choice lies in your hands. If you are going to get a phone from a third party dealer, I think you should know what, exactly what you are getting yourself into. And if you are going to get a device from a reputable source, of course you are safer, but not everyone has the money and that's kind of the things that bothers me especially in a country like this. We deserve to have the best and if we keep going down this rabbit hole of mismanagement and our currency is just getting bad and bad all, almost every single day, we are going to have a serious problem. So uh, yeah, but that's how to get the phone in Ghana, the extreme sport defined by the dark man. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to see more videos, you can see the two right beside me if you want to see what i call the ghanian dream this is the video up here and if you want to see any of my unboxing and tech reviews you can see them in the playlist down there i will see you guys in another video very soon take care peace